There are two important factors in astrophotography. First, your camera can't shake. Next, you need to align your mount to the North Celestial Pole, near the North Star. Years ago, I made a mount out of PVC pipe, but as you can see, it's not very sturdy. On a night with no wind, I was able to capture this photo, but on a breezy night, the best I could do was this. So I decided to make a permanent concrete pier, and with 22 bags of concrete and a 4 foot deep hole, I'm ready to go. The first step is to make a form for the concrete. I got an 8 inch diameter sauna tube for the pier itself, but I need to make a frame to hold it in place during construction. I found something in my garage that will serve as a starting point. After finding the center, I'll make a mold for the top of the base so what I'm working on here will face the ground when it is finished. I'll flip it over and put screws in from the top so I can get them back out when the frame is in place. I'll also remove the temporary screws I put in before. After the base form is done, I'll make a support frame to hold the sauna tube in place exactly over the center of the hole. I want the sides of my frame aligned to the north-south and east-west. I also want the top of the base to be level.
This will take a little digging. Once it's in place, I'll keep it there with a few stakes. The concrete will need some rebar to keep it from cracking, so I cut it into the lengths I'll need. Next, I ran every length of hose we had to get the water for the concrete. One of the how-tos I read said to start by emptying a bag of concrete into the hole without any water. After dumping in the dry mix, all the rest of the concrete was mixed with water and poured into the hole. Rebar should prevent cracking and add to the strength of the pier. Once the concrete reached the top of the form, we took care to get it in all the corners. Before pouring the pier itself, we took a break to make a permanent record of all the helpers. Shasta, Gracie, B, Kip, and Debbie. Then it's time to set up the sauna tube and build the frame to hold it in place.
more concrete mixing and pouring until finally we're able to put in the last piece. A form with four threaded stainless steel rods that will be used later to hold the photographic equipment. Care was taken to align these rods as close as possible to True North. With the concrete pouring done, all of us left to do today is clean up. The weather forecast for tonight calls for rain and maybe snow, so I'll protect the new concrete as best I can. And I guess it's time to retire the old PVC mount. A few days later, and it's time to remove the plastic. Peel off the sauna tube. And remove the form. All the planning paid off, and everything looks great. After some final cleaning up, it's all finished. In a few more days, the curing will be done, and I'll be ready to give my new pier a try. <laughs>